If you've just opened Blender for the first time and then you've tried to do things, maybe trying to see how far you can go without getting help, <laughs> you might have discovered you need help immediately. <laughs> if you're like me, then you decided to learn a little bit of Blender by looking up tutorials on YouTube. And if you're also like me, you most likely came across this gentleman, the Blender Guru. And if you happen to come across his channel, then you know that the first thing that you're gonna make in Blender is the donut. The donut with a lot of emphasis. After about three days of looking at donuts and making donuts and making sprinkles, you'll come to realize that the donut is one of the most important objects in the universe. Because of its properties, the shape of the donut is one of the most important mathematical concepts that we as humans have ever come up with. You're probably also going to find out that the true shape of the human body is a donut, just in case anyone hasn't told you yet. But that isn't the most important thing here. The most important thing is that learning how to make the blender donut is one of the best ways to learn blender as fast as possible and it also teaches you about basic topology at the same time hello good morning good afternoon and good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a little series that i like to call the blender discourse course the course where i talk about all of the uh craziness that i had <laughs> when it comes to making this entire set of donuts and also the donuts that you'll see in the commercial at the end of this video if I get to all that part but anyway introduction aside if you like donuts or if you like this video please hit the like button at the very bottom of this video hit the subscribe button while you're down there and also leave a comment telling me which donuts you like the most I like sprinkles but I don't like sprinkles I hate sprinkles after making this donut I prefer just a regular chocolate glazed donut now all right I might have to get some donuts after this on today's episode of Shenanigans, I wanted to talk about some of the key lessons I took from making Blender Donuts and how, as I mentioned earlier, the Apple commercial somehow dug its way through my mind and then out of my mind and made me recreate that same commercial with every single character model that I can get my hands on that didn't make Blender crash multiple times. We'll get to that part later too. The big thing that I've learned from making donuts is topology. I mentioned it a little bit before because I wanted to talk about it more in depth at this part of the video because it was going to be easier than cramming everything into the same introduction. You might be asking yourself, what is topology? Well, it's simple, but also it's not because this math is never really simple, but it is simple to define. Topology is a term that refers to a 3D model's structure and its edge distribution. When it comes to using topology and Blender, it's more or less about how the mesh of the object is composed. The mesh of an object is basically the skin or the upper surface that is the most viewable to you as the modeler or viewer. Just about every mesh that you'll ever come across is composed of just three different elements. You have edges, I mentioned those before. You have the vertices, which more or less speak for themselves. And then you have the faces, which also kind of speak for themselves. For anybody who doesn't know what those two words mean, vertices are just the intersections of two or more faces. The edges of two faces touch and they make a vertices or a vertex because vertices is the plural version of that. Anyway, topology is such a weird thing to do in Blender, but it is the most important thing in all honesty, even though you don't know how to do it yet, or at least I don't know how to do it yet. It's fun to learn. The second thing that I learned was the power of geometry nodes in Blender. These little guys are quite ridiculous in their power, but they kind of make the entire back half of Blender do what it does. There's not much you can do without geometry nodes because of how easy they make the job as a 3D artist in general. There's so much stuff that I can say about geometry nodes, like how confusing they are just <laughs> in general. With geometry nodes, you can give a coin its luster or just make it as wet as it would be if it were dropped in a sewer. Or you can even make a dollar bill crispy or sometimes very wrinkled, depending on how you do that. There's a lot you can do with geometry nodes, so don't forget to explore that tab of Blender at least one time in your life. The third thing I learned from the entire course was patience. During your time learning Blender, there are going to be a lot of small things that hook away your attention and steal your mind away from your main goal. But as long as you remember that the goal here, at least in this specific course, was to make a donut and make it look as edible as possible, then you are already halfway there. I know it might sound a little cheesy, but patience is definitely something that you, as an artist, working in a craft like this, will definitely need to have. Because sometimes you need to go back and relearn something because you forgot it because you were learning five other things. Especially when you have to introduce yourself to a new form of artistry. It's confusing sometimes. So stay patient. And lesson number four on my list was animation. I already did a video about that. You can click on it at the end of this video in the playlist, but specifically keyframing. 
I didn't know too much about how keyframing worked in Blender until I actually got to the last points of the Blender course. I don't want to go too far into this point. Like I said earlier, the rest of this video will speak for itself because animation is great and I want to keep doing it. Otherwise, my head may explode. I don't know. Fortunately for me, my head didn't actually explode, especially while I was figuring out this entire scene. I decided to record most of the Blender tutorial while I was actually working on it and making the donut palette as palatable as possible. And once I finished making the entire scene, I decided to go straight into a new scene, make a copy because please make extra copies. And I decided to just add a whole bunch of characters into it. And then that's when the Apple Donut commercial actually popped into my head and then I had to go find it. Fortunately enough for me, it didn't take too long for me to find the commercial, but I definitely had to download it. And now it is on my hard drive somewhere. I lost it already. I got to go find it. Anyway, I decided to just take as many characters as I possibly could. You'll figure out in a couple of seconds why that was a problem, but I tried to take as many characters as I possibly could, throw them all into the scene, make sure I was able to mess with their models and then just go uh, completely wild with their, make them grab donuts and then just figure out which ones actually stuck and which ones didn't stick. Unfortunately for me, I had to take one of the models out because they just were not playing nice and they decided to make my entire day as difficult as possible yeah and uh sometimes when you're in the middle of doing some cool stuff um Linda just decides to not work all of a sudden another shenanigan that we've uh, encountered over the last couple of minutes of me just trying to get work done so yeah remember to always have a very decent pc and make sure that every model and asset that you have loaded in one file is saved somewhere else and also just make sure that you have at least three or four or 25 different backups because you never know when you need it my god i can't do anything this is attempt number five or six or seven maybe i think to get this entire thing to work but uh we're probably gonna have to make some changes to this entire document slash seen because it's just been crashing and i want to blame chun lee maybe her thighs are too thick i'm not too sure <laughs> <laughs> terrible jokes aside i ended up just swapping out chun lee for aki i ended up liking aki's model just a little bit more for this scene anyway i think the hands well the <laughs> gloves that she has on her hands were a little bit more of a defining feature especially with having multiple characters actually reach their hands inside of this uh, cabinet to get donuts out of the windowsill. I just called it a donut, si don't, uh, anyway. So by the end of it, I was very happy with all the characters that I ended up using. I ended up using an older Ahsoka model and not the regular one that I usually have. Even though she does technically make a cameo, you kind of already saw that, but you'll see it more when the commercial comes up. And I was super excited to actually reuse Zangief's model as well as Cammy's models. I think their hands were just recognizable enough for me to redo them without having to worry about whether or not I actually needed to do that. And after all that was said and done, I was just ready to go. Enjoy this donut commercial inspired by an Apple commercial. definitely can't stop at one <laughs> so with all that being said tell me what you all think of the commercial in the comments below feel free to check out the playlist as well and also subscribe if you haven't already but with all that being said thank you all for watching and i will catch you all in the next video uh, just click the playlist and it'll probably be there if not you'll see it soon